Hello all upon, this is Cameron over at Audi Volkswagen Fall River in the Audi showroom. Going to show you the 2023 Audi A7. Let's get to it. To show you the front end of this 2023 Audi A7, we'll be showing you the LED daytime running lights and also automatic headlights as well for oncoming vehicles. Has really nice and acquiring um, front grille to look at. It's nice and aggressive on the A7. Has a blacked out Quattro badge with the qua uh, chrome around it. Also on the Chrome 4 Audi Beam logo rings as well. And of course you can see all the sensors on the sides of the actual car. And they do a nice job at putting the actual fog lights with a nice little plasty uh, black dip on there. Of course you're going to show the signature A7 wheel on the 2023. It has the Audi Sport on there with the all-season tires on there as well. Um, one of the nice little features they have on the outside of the little signal of the mirror right here just to indicate other drivers when you are turning into another lane and you're gonna be wrapped around with that nice chrome trim around all four windows on the passenger side, driver side, and back windows as well. Uh, gas cap's gonna be located on that right side and of course you're gonna have hands-free unlock on all four sides of the uh, A7 just to have that little luxury feel. Nice little throwback with this is the sport back we have going on in the A7. It's a really nice little uh, aggressive sporty look we have going on in the car. And this retracts also in and out when you uh, drive. You're gonna have a really, really large trunk, especially with the A7 being a very large vehicle. And Audi did not skimp out. You're gonna get a power tailgate in this bad boy and you're gonna get a ton of room to be throwing whatever you're gonna need. So you can throw a bunch of things in here to the back of whatever you need. There are gonna be some little um, Audi hubcaps on the sides right there with the four beam logos that actually have a gravity mechanism in there so when you're actually driving all four beam logos will be facing the right side up at all times no matter when turning or whatever uh, magnetic pole they actually have you're going to be throwing in some uh, nice comfort uh, mats with the Audi A7 in there as well and they also have a 60 40 uh, folding now with the back seats and of course you're going to have a nice privacy screen in the back as well that you can retract on your own We'll open up the back seat just to show you the actual size of this vehicle. You're gonna have this really nice beige interior wrapped up on the inside with that cloth. And you will have two USB-C ports and a 12 volt charger in the back. And if there's any adults and the kids in the back, they can control the actual temperature gauges. And to show you the inside of the 2023 Audi A7, Pond. This is Cameron over at Audi Volkswagen Fall River to show you the inside of the 2023 Audi A7. Don't worry about the check engine light. That's just because the vehicle is not actually on. We are in the showroom right now and I can't turn the vehicle on just for emission uh, problems. You're also going to notice a nice little ambient lighting package that this A7 uh, offers. So on the left hand side of the Audi A7 we're going to have all four windows being automatic. We're going to have power folding mirrors in this car. Child safety locks for the windows and doors in the back. We'll have a power tailgate function on the sides right here and you will get your auto your uh, rain sensor uh, headlights in the front right here and your rear tailgate lights in the front right here just by a touch we'll have a nice little virtual cockpit located in the front dash you can cycle through uh, your gas consumption your telephone and your radio functions here and of course you can see a nice little view of your actual uh, navigation a voice to talk features will be on the right side of the steering wheel right here and you can change the uh, volume by a quick little thumbtack right here and you can and uh, also switch the auto high beams on from the left side of the vehicle and your auto assist lanes. And everything with the uh, on Audi and Volkswagens will all be in the same spot for that uh, cruise control function. So that is located on the left hand bottom side of the steering wheel. If we move on to the Audi MMI infotainment system, we're gonna see an updated screen and bottom screen for the climate. Uh, first, I'll be going over this infotainment system up top. This is gonna be easily accessible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can actually just go through the Sirius XM and your your radio functions like AM and FM, um, your media if you just want to be connected through Bluetooth or an older iPod, and your, of course this is your phone connectivity so you use a lot of hands-free options from the steering wheel to call people and text people. If we move on down to the climate control portion of the infotainment system, nice iPod touch screen like feel to the car, ventilated seats in the Audi A7, and your heated seat functions right on the sides right here, and of course you can select your drive select buttons to be in your Audi uh, comfort for auto, dynamic, and of course your individual mode. Of course, if you look at the Audi Quattro uh, dashboard right here, they have a nice matte finish with a Quattro chrome badging around with a nice wood inlay finish on the actual door handles and front dash as well.
If you move on down to the seats of the uh, Audi A7, they have a really nice beige finish. I love this color. I have this color in my car right here. I feel like it does not beat the um, interior color by having a nice little light finish on the inside. Of course, this little ambient lighting package is showing green right now, so that's uh, showing a nice little contrast of the vehicle. And you will have nice uh, seat memory uh, with these Audi A7 seats. Uh, up to two people uh, will memorize the seats, so you can change that in the actual settings of the door right here, just by the one and the two and the set button. Pan on up to the actual uh, sunroof in the Audi A7. You're going to notice that you can actually just move the sunshade and have a complete uh, blocked out view, or open it and um, get a little sun in, and then you can actually open up the sunroof to this Audi A7. Hello Arpon, this is Cam Branco over at Audi Volkswagen Forever. Thank you for inquiring about the 2023 Audi A7. My phone number is 508-441-2543. Signing out.